Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 24th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we'll be checking out how we can construct tables in our HTML web pages. So the HTML file that I have here has uh, the doc type declaration on line number one and then uh, between the opening and closing HTML tags on lines uh, 2 and 31 respectively I have the head section which has the opening and closing title tags and the title tags enclose the text tables in HTML and I also have the body section between the opening and closing HTML tags and the body section has uh, opening and closing h1 heading tags on line number 7 that again uh, you know uh, the tags enclose the text tables in HTML and then on line number 8 I have the table element and this is the first time we're using it in this course but before I talk about rest of the elements in this uh, file let me show you guys how this file would look if I would open it in Google Chrome Right, so this is how this file would look and you know this here is the table that we made and you know uh, over the next few minutes we're going to talk about how we can uh, improve it you know like have a border and you know some space between the cells and all that but uh, you know this is a table you know a very basic uh, table it has a country continent and capital as the uh, headings for the three columns it has and it has uh, four rows in total Right, the first row has the uh, table headers and uh, then there are three rows that contain data. So let me go back to the file now. So to have a table in a, in a web page, you have to use the table element, right? So you type in table, the word table between uh, opening and closing angular brackets and uh, there's a corresponding closing table tag on line number 29 here. And between the opening and closing table tags, you have the opening and closing TR tags for uh, each row in your table. So, as I showed you guys in the in in the in the file, you know, when I opened the file in Google Chrome, there are four rows in the table. So there has to be uh, four sets of uh, TR tags, and TR is a short form for table row. So this is the first set, and this is the second set, and this is the third set, and this here is the fourth set, right? So if you want to add more rows then you'll have to you know get in another pair of opening and closing tr tags and uh, then to have the table headers you have to use the th tag right so th is a short form for table header and uh, it's very simple you just type in th between opening and closing angular brackets or the less than and greater than symbol and uh, you type in your values so you know generally you would want to have uh, table headers in the first row of the table so that's why in the first set of opening and closing TR tags, I have, uh, you know, three uh, sets of TH and the closing TH uh, tags. So country is the first header, continent is the second header and capital is the third header. So these are uh, column headers for the table. And then for uh, the other rows, you have to use TD as, uh, you know, the um, sort of uh, to have cell values in your table. So in the second row, I want to have France as uh, my value for the first column. So that's why I have uh, opening TD tag and closing TD tag here. And between these two, I have France. And then uh, I want to have Europe as the value for uh, the second column. So that's why opening TD tag and closing TD tag here. And between that, I have Europe. So, so on and so forth. You know, you have to just add in the uh, opening and closing TR tags and between those you have to add in opening and closing TD tags to include the uh, cell values. Now let's say you want to add a border to this table, right? So it's very simple. All you have to do is go to your table tag on line number eight and uh, you know just give a space after the word table and uh, type in border, right? That's uh, an attribute for the table element and then you type in the equal to symbol in between uh, double quotes you type in the thickness for your border so let's say you want to have a border of one pixel uh, thickness so you just type in that save the file and i'll go to google chrome and i'll just uh, refresh this and there you go you, you know your table now has a, a border and it looks good but uh, you know as you can see the values in the first column like france india and united states of america are actually stuffed pretty much towards the left so you would want to have some space between the values and uh, the border of the table so the way you can have that uh, space is by using the cell padding uh, attribute for the table element you type in cell padding and between double quotes you type in how much space you actually want so let's say you want to have a space of uh, five pixels so i'll type in 5px save the file and I'll go to Google Chrome and I'll refresh so now you see that each value 
is uh, you know sort of uh, separated from the surrounding walls of the cells by at least five pixels right so here you have five pixels and then you have five pixels uh, separation from the value and the you know border below and you know that's the case for all cells and uh, next let's say you also want some space between the cells uh, so you know in the third row particularly we see that it seems a little crowded because you have long values here united states of america and north america and washington dc all long values so if you want to have space between uh, the cells you have to use the cell spacing uh, attribute of the uh, table element and you again type in cell spacing c e l l spacing the equal to symbol and between double quotes you type in as much space as you want so let's say you want a space of 5 pixel you type in 5 px save the file and i refresh it in my browser so now i see that there is space between uh, each cell right so that's it about the table tag in html and uh, i hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial and there are other things that you can do with tables actually you know you can have different colors for different rows to sort of enhance the readability and uh, the look of the table but uh, that's kind of fancy and uh, you know you mostly use css to uh, you know deal with tables in html and uh, we're going to check out uh, how we can have different uh, colors for different rows and maybe the next tutorial when i discuss the background color uh, you know uh, attribute for tags in html and uh, anyway i hope you guys had fun and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'll see you in the next video till then take care